everyone! Welcome back to Preschool Storytime with the Long Beach Public Library. My name is Miss Shana and I'll be your storyteller today. We're going to start off with a song by Brady Reimer. It's called Jump Up, It's a Good Day. It's got lots of jumping in it, so if you feel like getting your wiggles out, please join me. I hear the Storytime Fairy. Hello, Storytime Fairy. You brought that for me? Well, thank you so much. It's a Storytime Basket. Oh, thank you so much, Storytime Fairy. Bye. Wow. Today's Storytime Basket has has something in it that's really colorful. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh dear. It's a basket full of leaves. I suppose story time is about autumn leaves today. Oh boy, I can't wait. <laughs> Today's story is called Fletcher and the Falling Leaves. This story is written by Julia Rawlinson and the pictures are by Tiffany Beek. And we're reading this with permission from Green Willow Books, an imprint of HarperCollins. <sighs> the world was changing. Each morning when Fletcher bounded out of the den, everything seemed just a little bit different. The rich green of the forest was turning to a dusty gold, and the soft, swishing sound of summer was fading to a crinkly whisper. Fletcher's favorite tree looked dull, dry, and brown. Fletcher was beginning to get worried. I 
think my tree is sick, said Fletcher. What's wrong with it, asked his mother. Its leaves are turning brown, said Fletcher. Don't worry, it's only autumn, she said. Fletcher ran back to his tree and patted the rough bark. Don't worry, it's only autumn, he said. You'll be feeling better soon. But the tree didn't get better. Each day, more leaves turned brown. One morning, the wind blew a small brown leaf off of a branch. Fletcher jumped up and caught it very gently in his paw. Don't worry, tree. I've got your leaf. I'll fix you. Fletcher looked around, picked a piece of grass, and he carefully tied the leaf to a branch. Just then, another gust of wind ruffled Fletcher's fur. The little leaf shook itself free and fluttered back to the ground. Fletcher picked it up again and thought very hard. Then he poked the leaf onto a twig and pushed it down firmly. Now you hold on tight, said Fletcher. No more flying around. The little leaf gave a tiny rustle in reply. The next day, a strong wind was blowing through the forest. <sighs> Fletcher rushed out of the den and ran all the way to his tree. Lots of branches were bare and little lost leaves spun everywhere. Don't worry, tree. I'll catch them for you, I promise. Round and round and round whirled Fletcher after the swirling leaves. Leaves! Wonderful! Just what I need for my nest, said a squirrel. But these belong to the tree, said Fletcher. Don't take them away. The tree doesn't need them anymore, said the squirrel, bounding off. Help! Help! The wind and the squirrel are stealing our leaves, cried Fletcher. Leaves? Terrific! Just what I need to keep warm, said a porcupine, rolling around. But these belong to the tree, said Fletcher, plucking leaves from the porcupine's needles. Not anymore, snuffled the porcupine, and away he rolled. Help! Help! The wind, the squirrel, and the porcupine are stealing our leaves, cried Fletcher. Suddenly, a flock of friendly birds swooped down from the sky. They picked up the leaves and their beaks and poked them onto the tree's branches. Soon, the tree was leafy again, and Fletcher flopped down and smiled. Thank you, birds. Thank you, he gasped as the birds fluttered away. He lay looking up through the leaves at the sky. And then he drifted off to sleep. But the wind continued to blow. And the branches still danced. The leaves shivered and shook themselves and began to wriggle free. They tossed and turned and twitched and twirled and tumbled to the ground. They brushed Fletcher's ears and nose and filled his dreams with a whispering sound. When Fletcher finally woke up, he couldn't believe his eyes. Instead of a roof of dancing leaves, all he could see were bare branches against the sky. Oh, tree, I'm so sorry, gulped Fletcher. All your leaves are gone. But then he saw high in the branches, one small leaf still holding on. I won't let the wind steal that one, said Fletcher, and he began to climb. He crawled along to the last leaf and he held it firmly onto its branch. All day long the wind blew and the branch bounced and Fletcher held tight. 
I'll stay with you, Leaf, he said. Don't worry. But then, with a sudden whoosh of wind, the branch bounced high, and with a plip, the leaf let go and fluttered like a little flag clutched in Fletcher's paw. Fletcher looked sadly at the leaf he had promised to save. He carried it carefully down the tree and back to the den. He made a cozy little bed for it and gently tucked it in. But all night long, he could only think of his tree all on its own. At dawn, Fletcher tiptoed outside. The wind had finally stopped blowing and the air was cold. The moon still hung in the clear sky and pale stars glimmered. As he came to his favorite tree, Fletcher saw a magical sight. The tree was hung with a thousand icicles, shining silver in the early light. You are more beautiful than ever, whispered Fletcher. But are you all right? Tiny breeze shivered the branches, making a sound like laughter. And in the light of the rising sun, the sparkling branches nodded. Fletcher gave his tree a hug. Then he went back to the den for a nice, warm breakfast. The end. Now it's time for a song called Five Golden Autumn Leaves. Can you show me your tree? Let's count the leaves together. One, two, three, four, five. Five golden autumn leaves high up in a tree. are left on the tree. One, two, three, four. Very good. Four golden autumn leaves high up in a tree. The wind blows, the leaves shake, and a one falls down to me. How many leaves are left now? One, two, three. Here we go. Three golden autumn leaves high up in a tree. The wind blows, the leaves shake, and the one falls down to me. Falling, falling, falling down. Two leaves left. Show me two. Two golden autumn leaves high up in a tree. The wind blows, the leaves shake, and one falls down to me. Falling, falling, falling down, falling, falling, falling to the ground. How many leaves are left? Just one. Show me one. One golden autumn leaf high up in a tree. The wind blows, the leaf shakes, and it falls down to me. Falling, falling, falling down, falling, falling, falling to the ground. How many leaves are left now? Zero. That's right. But our tree still has one, two, 
three, four, five branches ready for the winter. The end. This next story is called Fall is Not Easy. It's based on a book by Marty Kelly. Winter is easy. My branches are bare and snow starts to melt and springs in the air. Springtime is easy. Little buds start to grow. Then the spring rains are followed by the summer sun's glow. Summertime is easy. Just bask in the sun. Then breezes blow cooler and summer is done. But fall, fall is not easy because it's time for a change. Green leaves turn colors, but mine look all strange. That isn't right. And, well, this is just wrong. Which one of you is thinking of candy canes? It's not December yet. I think we need to help out this little tree. Will you close your eyes for me and picture in your mind a beautiful autumn tree with orange, red, and brown, and gold leaves on it? Okay, picture the tree in your mind. Close your eyes and say, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I did it! Open your eyes, open your eyes. <gasps> what? That's not right either? Oh dear. I suppose I've never seen hearts on a tree before. Maybe it's a Valentine's Day tree. Okay, let's try again. Close your eyes. Picture a beautiful autumn tree with red, gold, orange, and brown leaves on it, okay? And say, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I did it! Open your eyes! What? We still didn't get it right? Oh. Well, at least our tree is keeping a positive attitude. Let's try again, okay? Close your eyes, picture the tree. Picture those leaves, okay? They're turning colors, ready? I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I did it! Open your eyes. What? We did it again? Oh man, what does the tree look like now? Earth? Okay, close your eyes. Picture the tree, red, orange, yellow, gold, brown leaves. Say, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I did it! Open your eyes. <gasps> what? You've never seen a cheeseburger tree before? Mm, I'm getting hungry, you guys. Okay. I really think we can do it this time. Do you promise me you will picture a beautiful autumn tree in your mind? Okay, close your eyes. Picture the leaves, red, orange, gold, brown, and concentrate really hard on changing the color of those leaves, okay? I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I did it! Wow, open your eyes, look. Our little tree has finally changed the color of its leaves. But just when its patience begins to wear thin, its leaves all fall off and winter begins. And winter is easy. The end. Thank you for joining me for story time. I'll see you next time. Happy fall!